Hey, this is uh, John John Tube again. Today I'm going to do some grilling. And I got the grill going already in my previous uh, YouTube video grilling. I uh, showed you how to get the grill going the way I do it with my chimney. But I'm going to do today, I'm going to do stuffed burgers uh, my own certain way. People have their way of doing it, I have my way of doing it. But um, I'm going to have a little bit of uh, bacon in it, some pepperoni. Some mozzarella cheese and just some Velveeta cheese sliced. Some green peppers, onions, and the tomatoes gonna go on the outside. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I got my spices here. I got some uh, Mrs. Dash Italian seasoning and some chili powder. So what I'm gonna do first, though, is I got some hickory wood, and I'm gonna kind of smoke it. I'm gonna put this on the side of the grill. I'm gonna close this up. So, and I'm going to get this going so it heats up. I'm going to punch some holes in the top here so the smoke can come out once it gets warmed up. And uh, this gives a really good flavor to any kind of meats if you want to smoke uh, the taste of your food. Just kind of put in some aluminum foil, put the wood in there and put it, uh, before you put your food on, put it on the side. See, my charcoals right now are all on one side of the grill. And I'm going to put this right on top of the side where all the charcoals are at. And I'm going to wait for this to smoke. So. And while you let, get that ready, I'm going to show you how I mix all this up. I got uh, two pounds of hamburger from a local place called the uh, Hummel's Meat Market. It's in Alma, Michigan. And uh, I'm gonna mix all this up. So what I like to do is take the burger and uh, I'll take some uh, garlic powder I really love garlic. A little Italian seasoning. And uh, I use a little bit of the, the original blend of Mrs. Dash. It kind of puts in everything that I don't have for spices. And I just kind of mix it all together, almost like if you were making a meatloaf or something like that. this into a ball. It's going to be one top of my burger. Got another piece chunk here. The burger's going to be bigger than my bun, I can tell already. I'm going to take, make two burgers here. Another ball. Another ball. So anyways, um, I got the balls all set. What I'm going to do or what I did actually, is I took some of my barbecue sauce, which you can use your barbecue sauce, whatever barbecue sauce you use, and I diluted it with water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute the onions and the green peppers in the barbecue sauce. I went like 75% barbecue sauce and 25% water. So, I mean, you can do it however you want, but I'm gonna throw the onions in here in the barbecue sauce diluted with water. And the green peppers. Like that. And we'll put them on the grill. Get them going. Now, for the burgers, I'm going to flatten these out and get these ready just like if you would make a regular burger. One burger done. Top. For the bottom. This is the top of the bottom of the other burger. Now when you do these burgers, um, you've got to kind of slow cook them because they're going to be kind of thick. And so you're not going to want to put them, like I said, I put my charcoal all on one side of my grill. And so I have charcoal on this side and this side underneath there's no uh, charcoal so the, the heat is less. So what we want to do is 
put these burgers on the side with a where the charcoal is not, so it slowly cooks when we put them on the grill. That way the outside doesn't burn, but it, it's kind of a slow cooking okay. process. Um, I'm back. I'm going to start showing you what I did here because it was taking too long. Um, I was waiting for a lawnmower to quit running. Um, I put actually the, the hickory wood chips and aluminum foil on top of the charcoal. Um, I figured that would make it quicker, So, but this is still cooking well. And I'm going to show you now how to uh, how I stuff these. Grab one burger, a little bit of mozzarella cheese in the middle. Uh, things of pepperoni, lots of pepperoni, and the, the bacon. This is really good. And I'm going to use like this to spell Vita cheese, the sliced cheese, half of it on this one and half on the other. Throw that in there. And like I said, um, some people do it differently than I do it, but this is how I do it. I put that right on top. It's going to be a thick burger, but it's going to be so good when it's done. And I pinch the sides so that everything will stay in it. And that smoker is really doing good. I'm going to open this damper. Voila. Here's that one. This one, cheese on this one, and this one, some bacon on this one, and pepperoni, and this one, and this one, and this one, and if you want, you can, like with this one, I'll throw some onion on, actually on this one. I was going to put the saute on later, but this one I'll put some onion on. If you want to put like um, pickles or any, anything you want to stuff in there, you can stuff in there. Uh, this is just uh, my way of doing stuff. And then uh, like this. Right at the top. Pinch the sides. And again, you need to slow cook it. So put it on the side where your charcoal isn't at. Otherwise, you're, you're going to, unless you like a, a rare hamburger, that's fine. I like mine done all the way, so. But whatever your taste is. Now, smoking good. Ready for my burger. <coughs> Stuffed burger. Like I said, I'm putting it on this side where the charcoal isn't at. Because I want it to slow cook, because I want it cooked all the way through. In there and put the lid on it and they get cooked my grated top on the back. And as you see this is boiling really well. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. So good. I wish you could smell I'll it. Check the temperature on these uh, burgers. Um, ground beef um, should be temped at 165, unless again you want it a little rare. So uh, I'm gonna check these real quick. Everything's looking good. I flipped them a few times. Okay. These are ready to go. They're juicy. They're looking good. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm so hungry, really. Let you kind of take a peek at what we got going on. That looks so good. Everything's in there. Everything's cooked. 
all my stuff. My cheeses are all melted. So good. It smells so good. I wish you could smell this. It smells I'm going to so use good, three so. buns because this is a big burger. Like so. And I'm going to put a little bit of tomato on this. Lettuce on top of this. It smells so good, really. And now I'm going to go grab my saute. This is the kind of burger you're gonna have to eat with a fork. I'm, I'm sure you're not gonna be able to grab it, but like I said, it's so delicious, really. I'm gonna grab some of my saute stuff here. Throw this on. I said you gotta smell it. You don't even, you can't, this is not even, you have no clue how it smells. It smells so delicious right now, really. Put that on there like so. And three pieces of, that's a burger. And this is gonna be good. I'm gonna try to bite this without a fork. But this is a good thing, man. Look at this thing. And you can put your own condiments on it, um, ketchup, mustards, whatever. So. This is really good. Until next time, enjoy your eating, enjoy your day, and enjoy life. Take care. God bless.